Hello again, my YouTube fans and chess fans alike. So this is lesson two, pawn breakthrough of my new Chess Academy 3. It's been uh, a long time coming. Haven't done some chess lessons in a long time. I want to tell you that by no means am I any expert. Um, what I attempt to do is to use various books and or printouts from the chess club and things like this to uh, teach you these things at the same time I'm hoping to learn myself um, I feel that my chess skills have been diminishing because I haven't been practicing a whole lot so um, the same way that I did this last year and the year before um, it seems like I was able to move up in my chess skills by teaching so this is pawn breakthrough number two, lesson number two. Uh, this comes from a game from 1904, Edward Lasker, uh, where Lasker actually made a mistake. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the actual game. I only have the printout that shows it came from this game that I just told you. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to show, first I'm going to show you the, the, uh, the way that it works in the printout. So there's a wrong move and there's a right move for, for Lasker to do. And Lasker, in the actual game in 1904, made a mistake. And I believe he ended up losing that game when he should have won. So the right move is in the red arrow, F6. The wrong move is F4. So let's go ahead and do the correct stuff first. The correct move he should have made was F6. And the way the the, uh, the sequence goes in the printout is like this. Okay, so the king cannot c catch up. Now he's going to try to catch up, but I have another move, what they call should swing. Um, I can move my king, and now the black is forced to move away because he cannot he cannot go here because of this pawn and he cannot go here because of this pawn and if he goes here it doesn't matter I'm going to queen that pawn anyway so white is going to win this game so let's go back for a minute and let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the wrong move um, I'm going to wing this one I'm going to try and do it myself Let's go ahead and make the wrong move. We'll call this a new variation. So we're going to let the computer. I think I have this computer set at a low level, actually, but I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to let the computer play this. Let's see what the computer can do at a low level setting if Lasker makes the, the wrong move. OK, and that is actually a good move because what that does, according to the, the printout, that's exactly what the opponent did. He moved his pawn to f6. Instead of white having a blockade, now black has a blockade. So what's white going to do now? No matter what white does now, black is going to find a way to queen a pawn. So let's let the computer play white for a change. Okay, then black and then white. See, in other words, now, now black's king is going to eat up the pawns and there's nothing much there's nothing much that white can do black now has the ability to queen one of those pawns okay so this is the difference between making the correct first move and making the incorrect first move the correct first move of course is f6 and it's there is actually another chance right now for white to screw screw this up again so black takes if white doesn't move f4 now see this is the funny thing is f4 was a wrong move if it was the first move but f4 is the correct move now and i go through this all the time because i'm not a i'm not that great of a player i often have this list of moves in my head like most players they have this list of moves in their head i want to do this but i also want to do that so which is the correct move to do first and it's hard to decide which one is the right one first it turns out that both f4 and f6 were moves in, on the list, but f6 
was the correct first move. So, um, what if I did something wrong now? Instead of moving g5, what if I did something something like this? Now, would I be able to recover from this? Would I be able to still win this? Let's find out. I'll let the computer decide. Yeah, there it is. King, um, excuse me. The black is able to queen that pawn. I know I was not be I was not able to stop that pawn. So therefore, black is going to win this game. So there is still ways of white making a second wrong move, but played accurately, played the proper way. If Lasker had made the first correct move, that was f6, and he continued to play accurately, um, he would have won this game. So I, anyway, this was a little bit of a rant, but um, this is about pawn breakthroughs. This is lesson number two in pawn breakthroughs. I think I have at least one more on pawn breakthroughs, uh, possibly as many as two or three more, but uh, we're gonna. I'm not going to promise you uh, more than one at a time. So I'm going to give you at least one more on pawn break breakthroughs, and uh, we'll continue from there and decide what type of lesson you uh, is next. If uh, perhaps you have a suggestion, uh, maybe maybe there's something you're working on. Um, again, I'm not a, a master of any sorts, but if you have a question that I might be able to look up and uh, answer uh, uh, by by look by by finding it in some book, or if you have a basic question on 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 a rule. Whether it be about uh, castling or, or, you know, can you castle during this or can you do that? Uh, please ask me. Um, I, I would certainly make a short video on that as well. Um, if you have specific questions on pawn breakthroughs that I may be able to look up, certainly I can continue on that as well. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope this new Chess Academy is not too ranting. And uh, please subscribe. And of course, keep on playing.